Hi friends, today I will teach you regarding the benign serous tumor of the ovary. The ovarian tumor is divided into the three types, surface epithelial tumors, germ cell tumors and the sex cord stromal tumor. Our case is the borderline serous tumor that is from the surface tumor category. Now you have to remember that serous tumor is serous tumor of the ovary is one of the most common tumor of the ovary. Grossly, the presentation is obviously cystic. From the gynecology department, we have received 9 cm sized ovary for the histopathological examination. When we had cut the ovary, uh, the serous fluid comes out and there were present of many papillary growth solid patterns in between the cystic structure. So we have put the provisional diagnosis of a benign or borderline serous tumor. In the microscopically, it came as a borderline serous tumor. So let's uh, start the discussion. The serous tumor of the ovary is divided into the three types. The one is benign, another one is borderline, and third one is malignant. So let's start with benign cyst adenoma. Uh, you can see in this screen that uh, cyst wall is lined by cuboidal or low columnar epithelium. So that is the characteristic feature of any serous tumor. Obviously, it is the benign tumor, so eight IPI is not seen. Uh, there be, uh, there should also be absence of stromal invasion. The stromal invasion should not be seen to call the tumor as a benign. Sometimes papilla might be seen, but uh, it is not complex. That word is important. It should not be complex. Now, exactly opposite. If you can able to see the features of malignancy that is pleomorphism, nuclear atypia, high mitosis, more complexity of the papilla, branching papillary fronts and obviously if stromal invasion is seen then such tumor is given the name as an malignant cyst adenocarcinoma of the ovary. We should classify the serous tumor because the prognosis is different in each and every case and the treatment is also different. So we have to give the diagnosis as a benign, borderline or malignant. Benign having best prognosis, borderline having intermediate prognosis and malignance, malignant cyst adenocarcinoma having the worst prognosis. So let's start the discussion with the borderline serous tumor. So if you can able to see the broad branching papilla that is covered by stratified epithelium. This is the broad branching papillas, papillary structure obviously. So this is the papillary cyst adenoma of the ovary. But why we are saying it as a borderline? To call the tumor as a borderline, there should be absent of uh, stromal invasion. In this figure you can see the stromal invasion is not seen. This is the ovarian stroma. It is completely free. See the underlying stroma. It is completely free. Stromal invasion is not seen. Once you see the stromal invasion, it is the malignant tumor. So if all the features of malignancy are present, like uh, as we have discussed, nuclear atypia, mitosis, complexity, branching papillary fronts, if all these are seen, but if there is an absence of one single factor that is stromal invasion then that tumor is not called as a malignant it should be called as a borderline so if stromal invasion is not seen it's a borderline serous tumor these are the another features you can able to see the papillas broad branching papillas the stratification is also obvious in such figure and now we will observe it in a 20x view you can able to see the few mitoses and the glandular complexity as well. Uh, there were also presence of nuclear atypia, which is obvious in this figure. This is the nuclear atypia. Uh, we, will we will inspect the other fields as well. So these are the other areas showing the same pattern. The branching broad papilla. Uh, sometime micropapilla is also seen in such tumors. In our few sections, micropapillas were also absent. Micropapilla means uh, vascular core is totally absent. 
Now you can able to see here also the stroma is totally free. And you have to remember one point that even if the micro invasion is seen in the stroma, then also it is not the malignant. It is it should be labeled as a borderline serious tumor. In such micro invasion, the tumor cluster cells having the abandoned eosinophilic cytoplasm. In our case, it was not present. But if you see it, then also don't give the malignancy. This is the borderline serious tumor of the ovary. Another area. The diagnosis is obvious. Sometimes such tumor can show the peritoneal implants, even though it is borderline. So based on metastasis, the ovarian tumor is never categorized. Just remember that you have to observe for the stromal invasion to label it as a malignant. Hope my video will be beneficial to you in giving the diagnosis of borderline serous tumor of the ovary. If you like the video, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you very much.